but, but, but like maybe <laughs> now. He's having second maybe, thoughts. Maybe a fifth. All right, let's, this is Cornelius, the founder of Zellefeld and the world's most futuristic footwear company. <laughs> and he's just about to tell me a crazy, unheard story about his time working with Kanye West. I think he realized how much freedom that gives you all of a sudden as a creator. You don't need, like, billion-dollar corporations anymore. When I was first introduced to Zellefeld and their 3D-printed shoes, I was so intrigued by this technology that I decided to embark on a mission of wearing them for 30 days now it's not just me that's super interested in this technology, some of the biggest names on the planet are also fascinated by it. For example, Elon Musk, Kanye West, Montclair, Heron Preston, among so many others. So to figure out if 3D printed shoes by Zellerfeld are actually the future of sneakers and what everybody's going to be wearing, I flew out to their factory in Hamburg, the most futuristic sneaker factory on the planet. Really, once you come in, this is actually kind of a holy area for us. We have a Thursday morning right now, we have 190 printers uh, printing pairs right now. As you will see, we have lots of engineers, we are now 40 people here, mm. and um, we have no marketing, no sales, it's all engineers. And we also want everyone to be involved in that production because like, we want to get printed shoes in every foot in the world. Right now, not a demand problem, we have way more demand than capacity, so we need to get those numbers up. Like basically all the engineers are working here and you're going to see everything. Everybody's got 3D printed shoes on. I'm actually not allowed to tell you who that is from. However, I'm test wearing them right now. And the crazy thing about that is they are actually super soft. With just 200 3D printers, 40 employees and no marketing budget, I was so interested in finding out how they're making some of the most futuristic shoes on the planet and why so many big names are also interested in it. Now that we're suited up in the right attire. As you know, we are kind of fed up with what's happening in footwear like I don't know always the same shoes over and over again mm. so we always want to be something like a YouTube for shoes and that is what we are building here so this is where we do most of the software development here or in that Zellerfeld studio you can upload a 3d model and because we did so many collaborations like Montclair, LV but also like hundreds of others with independent brands like we learned a lot and now you can upload a 3d model of a shoe and basically order a sample on the spot. Usually, I don't know, an Adidas or a Nike, usually they need hundreds of thousands of dollars and 12 to 18 months to get to that step. Mm. And here it's like, you make a 3D model, it gets automatically checked in half a minute. And then you can order a sample on the spot and a few days later it lands on your doorstep and that is pretty revolutionary. The way Zellerfeld works is kind of similar to YouTube, where you have content creators and then people that watch the videos. And just in the same way that anyone can upload a YouTube video and create content, anyone can upload a design of a shoe and sell it. And just like how YouTube empowered someone with no recording studio, budget, or team to start producing videos, you can now design, create, and sell a sneaker with no experience, no ties to giant corporation, and full freedom of creativity. So basically you can have an idea in the morning, throughout the day you can 3D model it, in the evening you can, you can launch it um, and get a sample and then after you're happy you can launch it and earn instant royalties. And that is, that is what excites us so much mm. because all of a sudden, um, you know, a kid, I don't know, we have a, like, a student from Pakistan, he only has a $200 laptop and now with that tech he can do what like an Adidas or Nike need 18 months and dozens of people and hundreds of thousands of dollars. And that's that, like, we love that. So once you have an idea or like once you send us the 3D model, it usually just takes days, uh, I don't know, three to five days until it lands uh, on your doorstep. Um, and that is that is pretty revolutionary. So that's upload insane. a file to the Zellerfeld studio. I then went through the ordering process, which unlike buying a normal shoe where you Order. pick your size, a wow. Zellerfeld shoe is actually custom Order. printed to your exact foot. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. What is that? <laughs> now this is done through a series of scans and images all using your iPhone. Okay, we need a piece of pet. Well, look at that. <laughs> okay, let me go a little bit closer. You can move that in 3D and that, those are your feet now. Um, <laughs> and um, out of this, we can now get all the measurements uh, to make you a custom pair. And what we love about this is it's the first time that actually people can get custom fitted shoes. Yeah. Uh, so um, that excites us a lot. We have lots of celebrities that actually support us, are our big fans. I don't know, we have different people, Posty for example, or Justin Bieber wearing the Namis. Um, we got two chains in the Reigns Puffer here. That's Nathan Van Hoek, he's a sneaker design legend. So, I don't really recognize this guy, who's he? So, yeah, so the, the, yeah, the picture below would explain it. Yeah, like, 
obviously we also have some funny encounters there. Can you hang that up? Let's go! <laughs> So I made the, the, what do you call this? The wall of the wall, fame. The wall of fame. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Damn. I met Elliot Page. I'm never going to fail. It was now time for the factory tour, which is located in a warehouse with 200 3D printers that Sellerfeld has built and engineered themselves. Exactly. Oh so, um, as I said, we can't buy printers just off the shelf. We actually have to build them. Yeah. So we had to engineer them, build them, all of that stuff, and we assemble them here. Now we have over 200 printers. They were all built here in our small assembly line. That's like the thing. It's like you're not just making shoes. You're making the machines that make the shoes. I never expected to see this coming to a place that makes shoes. We didn't expect to make the machines as well, but we have to. Now we're going into the machining room. All sorts of metal parts that we have to build for the printers are actually being milled and produced and machined in here. So we are very happy to have Kevin. He came from sunny California to Hamburg, Germany, which is rainy. Yeah, so I've been at Zellerfeld for a year and a half now. Um, I was living in San Diego and Cornelius kind of approached me and found some of my work on my website and basically told me that he wanted to have me out here, pay me to work on something that I worked in my free time on. All of the new printer designs that we're working on is stuff that I'm involved in. This machine is our CNC machine, so when we need to make new parts, we just machine them here ourselves most of the time. Because I'm looking at you, you're speaking, and you're like, are you doing this handheld like, as <laughs> yeah. you speak? Yeah, so we, we program the whole thing. The machine knows what it's doing and everything. But what I'm doing is controlling the speed of all of the CNC movements. And that's just kind of to make sure that, that I programmed it right and that it doesn't crash and, uh, you know, fuck something up but also just to make sure that it's cutting at the right speed. And uh, whose idea was the eyes? Uh, I don't know whose idea that was. I don't think you? I don't think that they <laughs> jiggle as much as he was in hoping that they would. Like even, even when I go fast, they kind of stay still. So that's kind of a bummer. And like two and a half years ago, all of this was empty. And we only had those machines that we call the monos. So they were like the 2001 Space Odyssey monolithic machines. And when you look into them, like you can see how DIY they were back then. So this is like student dorm level of what we did. We have decided for a technology uses non-toxic materials and that often comes in this string form. So you basically push this thr string through a hot nozzle. But the problem is if you push that, you already see what happens. You mm. can't really push it. It's like a wet noodle. And even if you give it a constant, uh, constrained path, it's really hard to handle. And this is what we figured out better than anyone in the world. Can I feel it? Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, it's actually quite, it's a lot like tougher to pull apart than I thought. Yeah, because it's quite thick. How hard is it to like pull apart? I, I think, you, like, I don't know if you can. That's how strong our shoes ah. are, guys. When I smash into it and take out like a, I don't know how much it costs, but probably way too much. All right, next phase. I scoot it on through. Let's go over here. You're not allowed to film in there right now. Because Zellerfeld is building all of the printers themselves, naturally they're pretty secretive of their tech. So I wasn't actually allowed to record the printers up close. But walking into that room felt like I was on some kind of spaceship filled with alien incubators. Subtle high-pitched sounds of the printer nozzles moving back and forth and the heat from over 200 working machines filled the room. Because that's kind of our secret Krabby Patty formula that I'm <laughs> trying to secure like SpongeBob. Basically, take the 150 to 200 production steps of a conventional shoe and squeeze them into three steps only. So for example, like with a normal shoe, gluing the bits on, sewing the sole and stuff like that. Yeah, you'll get a couple of parts and then you can check all the different parts and only yeah. glue them together if they are good, right? So what are the three steps? So the steps are printing. Yeah washing the support off okay. and drying the shoe basically wow. and also like washing and drying are things that like didn't exist for 3d printed shoes so we also had to reinvent those steps right wow. really big difference uh, to what from what we do to like i don't know conventional from what adidas or nike is doing they produce a big pile of uk 8s uk 9 or whatever the size is but here it's different because as you know you scanned your foot we need to track every single order through the process yes yeah, so you're not just making like a size run you're exactly. making like a shoe for every individual. But that's also the beauty of the farm, and this is why we call it a farm in the first place, because at the end of the day, 
it runs like a server farm, right? So this is basically how the final uh, product out of the printer looks like. Like to hold the shoe in place, you have like this water soluble material here. And this just like dissolves off of it. Exactly. So this is what holds it in place when exactly. it's printing. And then obviously you don't still want this on. So you just dip it in water. Yeah, and this wow. here is really stiff. And this here is flexible. And to dissolve that, we're going to go to um, the washing room. As Ben said earlier, this is a process step that hasn't been there before. We also have to reinvent the post-processing step. So some people buy Lamborghinis, we buy washing machines. This is basically the world's first washing machine specifically designed to wash that part off. So how long does this process take? An hour. Puzzles to shoot water jets at it. It's like like crazy. Inside now, that basket is spinning constantly. All the streams can basically reach every spot. People send us designs through the Zellerfeld studio, and then at some point they are being produced, they go through the printing, the washing, but at some point they all end up here. We also had some Easter eggs for that, because like, for example, that's the first ever shoe that we printed. Um, and that was like eight years ago or seven years ago. Yeah. And you have no idea how happy I was that I got that out of the printer. It looks horrible. I had no idea what I was doing. I like, it has a cut in the back because otherwise I couldn't get in. Um, and you know, I, I basically was hiding in a basement for six months and all of my friends thought I was crazy. And then especially they thought I was crazy after six months when I came out and I was the happiest man alive with this. Those were actually two parts and they still had like an assembly process. So we were like stitching it together. But the stitching alone of those two parts was like, I don't know, an hour and a half and it was horrible. Was that done by hand? That was done by hand. Like I was like in there like this and like, wow. obviously, you know, most of those designs, the OG Herons, um, those were the first ones we ever did. A big collab for the first one. Oh yeah. So that we, just shows like... We were so happy. Heron basically saw the potential way earlier than anyone else. I don't know if you know Concept Kicks. Do you know yeah, Concept yeah, Kicks? So yeah. Concept Kicks, Daniel Bailey. Um, he was the main reason why I started with Zellerfeld as well. Because yeah. um, he, like, he was always reposting those cool designs. I was sick of the sambas and all of that other stuff. Yeah. But like he had new shit that I've badly wanted to wear. But now we are making the step, for example, the Kitsupa. That's the like kind of the old and not updated version. But this is now the updated version. So you can all of a sudden get so many more details out of it. It feels so good. That it feels, feels so much so more good. premium. Like yeah. the old material was very plasticky. But now it's the first time that we also actually developed our very own uh, material specialized for printed footwear and all of a sudden printed shoes feel much better. Yeah. Or like this here, also from Reigns. Yes, yeah, um, insane. The puffer shoe, like... It's one of the wildest things I've ever felt, like on a shoe. I don't even know how to That's explain like puffer. That. That's yeah. like the rain jackets. Yeah. Or like the Montclairs. Like those look actually very intricate all of a sudden. Um, and or like this here, like that is, that is still a prototype out of a hard material, but like that's stuff that you haven't seen before in printed footwear. In the future, what you are able to do is like to have very hard heels and then like soft sock-like uppers. And that is also going to change the game because imagine like what market it will be to have custom fitted high heels and mm. stuff like that. You're excited about it to have like carbon fiber enforced heels and soft like sock-like uppers. I mean, you have seen the Yeezy boots, right? That we did for this Yeezy season nine show. But like more and more, we are also getting like in the future to boots. Um, and that will be fun as well. Um, so is this a prototype? No, that is not from Yeezy or whatever, but that is from a, like a friend of, 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 of Ye, you could say. Um, but that is unreleased. Sick. <laughs> what is that? So I don't know if like, if you're not familiar with what a shoe is, a shoe is like, I think it comes out of Australia. Um, it's like a tradition where um, people drink out of shoes but um, usually it's quite disgusting. So we have engineered this. It's very unique because it has a funnel in here. You can pour in beer, it acts like a beer bong. And then it goes through the sole. It never touches your foot or like any, any drop of sweat. Um, so it goes through this here um, and then it shoots out here. Can we Sh test it out? Shall we do it? Let's do okay. it, shall we? Let's do it. Um, I want you to pour that in and it will spill all over me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that feels so wrong, but All right. we're, we're going to do it. Let's just do it, run it. We're doing a shoey. Three. Uh, how much are you going to put in? Not too much. Uh, but also not too little. Okay, so, <laughs> so what, go for it? Um, yeah. 
Send it? Send it. But, but, but like maybe... <laughs> now. Send He's it. having second maybe, thoughts. Maybe. I'm sending it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go! It was now time for me to ask Cornelius about their experience working with Kanye West. The answer I got was not only unexpected, but one that made so much sense if you're trying to piece together what happened when all of the companies Ye was working with him suddenly stopped. One question that I knew I was gonna ask you, it's a big one, how was it working with Ye? Yeah, that, that, was, that was a bit crazy. There was actually like a super short project. He was teasing those boots for, for years, but he was struggling to get a prototype and he he had those problems quite often like he was a little bit freaking out i believe before the show on mm. which was on monday so the friday he called us up and said hey can you make those boots because i can't really get a sample we never had made uh, boots before so mm. we tried and actually it worked out so we flew over we gave him the boots he jumped in them he like he loved them and he, he was just the happiest man alive because he realized okay i finally have something for the show which is really really sick i think he was really really happy about that and he also saw the potential of 3d printing that basically within a weekend you can have like from a thought to like an actual shoe that is variable and functional and that also i think he realized how much freedom that gives you all of a sudden as a creator you don't need like billion dollar corporations anymore that actually Actually do your sampling and the distribution and stuff you can be yourself as a creator mm. so I'm also not surprised that I think it was the last shoe that was still under his his big corporation contract you can speculate maybe that was also the reason all right we have to get an epic dab and then no. <laughs> take number 100 that was a good one we can yeah. probably get a better one we yeah, get yeah. a better one oh perfect Thank you for having us. Um, Thank you for being here. This has been insane to check this all out.